Hey, Kosi, this is Abu, of course. I um, want to record like a quick little video um, that can be watched more than one time or, or um, several times by yourself as well as your coworkers and um, other people that work with you um, to let you know that I am actually certified in a technique called the Emotional Freedom Technique. Um, I've also attached a second YouTube video um, that explains the technique. What, a what EFT is is actually a combination um, of um, Western psychology with um, Eastern uh, acupuncture. Instead of, ac instead of using needles, however, we use um, actually acupressure called shiatsu and use our fingertips um, as opposed to using needles to actually go into the meridians which are actually part of our actually nervous system. The ends of our nervous system are called meridians. Of course, um, the, the Ch Chinese have actually used meridians for tens and tens of thousands of years, so it's nothing new. Um, but this, um, this technique which is about 20 years old, is actually completely revolutionizing both the medical field as well as the psychology field. Because instead of taking um, 10, 20 um, years to actually get over some type of a psychological trauma or psychological issue or over some type of addiction or the way that people swing back and forth like a pendulum because they um, are, are strong enough to actually get over the, the addiction that they have but then they start swinging back and they start digressing and going back into the addiction or whatever. This actual technique can actually um, help someone get over that addiction um, with around a 90 to 95 percent success rate in 20 minutes or less. Now, of course, the chemicals that are actually in their body usually takes about three days to actually um, leave their body. But in terms of the desire for the drug, the desire for the alcohol, the desire for that type of lifestyle, um, this actually helps someone get over the addiction itself um, in usually around 20 minutes or less with a qualified um, trainer who actually works with them. Now, it doesn't mean that that's the end of the process. That's just the beginning of the process to actually um, help someone get over the addiction. Sometimes the desire actually does return, but the person will actually know exactly how to start um, using the technique again on themselves. They don't have to go back to the counselor. The counselor is just there to aid them. They don't have to go back to the EFT um, certified technician to actually show them how to actually um, use the acupuncture points again and what to say and that type of thing. That can actually be taught on an individual as well as like a group basis so that they can actually understand what to do and how to do it so that if that desire does come back to them a month from then or a, a year from then or whatever, they can actually um, get rid of that desire itself. But the important thing, too, is that they can actually show other people how to do it. Now, that's one of the most powerful tools, so that if someone did want to get rid of um, that um, addiction, for example, in their life, they can actually then show their friends, who th they may be still associated with, how to do the same thing as well. Um, so this is um, one of those techniques that actually um, is revolution revolutionizing the um, both psychology um, world as well as the medical world because what also happens is uh, um, science, doctors and scientists have found over the last uh, 20 to 30 years that 75 percent of our recurring um, physical ailments are actually due to psychological issues. So if someone who actually has um, diabetes or someone who has high blood pressure, someone who has migraines, someone who has um, anxiety attacks, someone who has um, even um, drug issues, or they're, they're, the doctor has actually done, or the psychologist has actually done everything they actually can, which logically makes sense to actually help the person get over whatever is ailing them. But for some reason, that person is not getting better. It's actually due to something that's called psychological reversal, which will actually be explained in the next video. Now, excuse me for being sort of um, um, long-winded. I'm just sort of excited about this um, opportunity to offer this to Bermuda. Um, again, I think I'm the only person here that's actually um, certified in this technique. Um, and I wanted to share it with you because um, not only do I know you, I also know the field that you're actually in. I know about the iridology that you used to actually um, 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 do. 
So um, I wanted to offer this to yourself and um, to your coworkers. Um, if you want me to come down and actually um, work with someone and actually um, show you how the technique works, show you what the technique is, and actually see some results right then and there, I'd be more than happy to do that um, and work with several people as well. So just contact me. You know how to get in touch with me. I just want to record a little um, something so that you have something um, other than something written. You actually have something on um, your computer screen that you can actually um, attach and send to other people, whether that be in your department or in your field or whatever. Oh, the other thing, too, <coughs> that's important to note is that this is also good with um, helping people get over phobias, um, helping people get over um, long-term, um, for example, physical issues. Uh, whether that be range of motion issues, um, whether that be their performance. Um, someone who is playing golf can actually use this technique to actually um, uh, remove the, um, the bad memories and the, not remove. We, we're not talking about um, someone having amnesia. I'm saying remove the, the psychological or the emotional uh, impact of something that has happened or the fear that something may happen. Um, so it actually helps um, to improve someone in the sports um, world as well because as we know our bodies um, actually do um, have tension in them and the slightest bit of tension for example someone playing golf the slightest bit of tension that actually um, makes someone strike the ball one eighth of an inch uh, one eighth of an inch difference has a huge impact on where the, the golf ball actually lands so um, if someone is actually um, remembering um, the, the last time they're actually at that hole and is actually now uh, they're um, thinking about the negative side as, as, a, as opposed to the positive um, um, results, then of course that's going to affect them psychologically, it's also going to affect them physically because they, they're going to actually start tensing up and then the result is actually um, then affected. So um, anyway. I know I'm being long-winded. I want to record something quick to you, but I'm excited-tated. In other words, I'm, um, that's a new word. I'm actually um, very excited about the, um, this field and what it actually can do to actually aiding um, the people here in Bermuda.